Today, we will talk about delisting, what it means and how it works for stock shares. Delisting is the removal of a listed security from a stock exchange. It can be voluntary or involuntary and usually happens when a company ceases operations, declares bankruptcy, merges, does not meet listing requirements, or seeks to become private. Companies must meet specific guidelines, or listing standards, before they can be listed on an exchange. If they fail to meet the minimum standards set by an exchange, they will be involuntarily delisted. Alternatively, a company can voluntarily request to be delisted, such as when they are purchased by private equity firms. Reasons for delisting include violating regulations, failing to meet minimum financial standards, and receiving warnings of non-compliance. Companies may undergo a reverse split of their stock shares to avoid being delisted, but the consequences of delisting can be significant. Common reasons for delisting include failing to meet financial standards, regulatory violations, and not meeting listing requirements, among others. When a company fails to comply with listing requirements, they will receive warnings before being removed from the exchange. Voluntary delisting requires consultation with stakeholders and approval from the stock exchange. After delisting, shareholders may receive cash to buy them out or shares in the acquiring company. Holding delisted stocks isn't desirable and they become more difficult to trade. If you still hold shares after delisting, your next steps depend on what you're invested in, its prospects, and whether you have the stomach to deal with alternative exchanges. You can still sell shares after a delisting, but not on the original exchange. Selling shares and getting a reasonable price becomes much harder after delisting. It is possible for a delisted company to get relisted, but it depends on the circumstances. Some companies find it difficult to bounce back after delisting. Delisting isn't always bad. Some companies prosper from the benefits of being private. Delisting occurs when a stock is removed from a stock exchange, and it can be either mandatory or voluntary. The consequences of delisting are significant, and some companies strenuously avoid being delisted. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Delisting occurs when a stock is removed from a stock exchange. 2. It can be either mandatory or voluntary. 3. Some companies opt to go private or get taken over by companies that want them out of the public eye. For stocks that fail to meet the exchange's requirements risk being kicked out and delisted. 5. The consequences of delisting are significant, and some companies strenuously avoid being delisted. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.